Hi guys, I'm Kisa Shreem here. This is me Sahiri. Salima. I'm here. And today we are going to do this video which is the Travel Logs of India. And the girl is her name is Shruti. Okay, besides that, she has a video that is what Bengal really likes. And the Netherlands foreigner is the Indian blog. Let's start. Yes. It's fun for me. Hmm. What's it really like to live in Bangalore, India. Well, in this video, I'm going to take you on a journey through the city that I'm so privileged to call home. Hi, my name is Ivana, and I've been living in Bangalore now for three years. When I first came to India, I never would have thought that Bangalore would end up being my home, but it is, and I absolutely love it. Our journey today starts at the airport here in Bangalore because that is something that really, really makes Bangalore very special for me, its location. Bangalore is almost in the center of India, which makes it so incredibly well connected. It is very easy to travel to the north of India, but also to the south of India, not just by flight, but also by trains and by buses. And actually, Bangalore is also very well internationally connected. Just a couple of years ago, we got a direct connection with Thailand for the perfect holiday, but actually also with Amsterdam, which is my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy with that. So when you live in Bangalore, it is super, super easy, not just to travel all over India, but actually also internationally. This is only the beginning of our journey. And obviously I'm also going to be discussing the challenges that I face living here in Bangalore. So make sure that you stay tuned until the end of this video. Time to hit the road for our life in Bangalore tour. Driving towards the city from the airport, you'll slowly see the landscape change from a lot of greenery to bigger and bigger buildings. The biggest misconception that people have about Bengaluru, however, is that it's a super industrial city with no character or culture. Throughout the video, I'm going to show you the many layers of Bengaluru, so we definitely clear that wrong perception anybody might have. The first place where I always take anybody who's new to the city is the neighborhood Indranagar. Get ready for our first night out in Bangalore. Welcome to Indranagar, one of the most famous neighborhoods mm. here in Bangalore and okay, also one of my personal favorites. When I came to Bangalore, I really didn't know that it was the hipster capital of India. Yes, mm -hmm. I dare say that because here in Bangalore, there is this whole health scene, first of all. If you want to order anything keto, it will always be there, available on Swiggy in multiple options. Eat Fit actually also started in this city. The chai shops, they're super hipster. <laughs> and then we also have amazing restaurants with a lot of fusion cuisines. For today's little tour of Bangalore, I wanted to take you to one of my favorite hipster restaurants, the Fatty Bao. The restaurant looks Standard super, super hipster. They, they have different kind of Asian mm -hmm. cuisines. They have Malaysian, they have Japanese, Start they have a little bit of Korean. The food is food. absolutely oh. mind-blowing. So if you want to go for a hipster experience in Bangalore, I would definitely 10 10 recommend the Fatty Bao and hanging out here in the Indra Nagar. Or if you want a hipster experience in India, then Bangalore is your city. It's the hipster capital of India. <laughs> also, what I really, really like about Bangalore is it's now a Monday evening, about 10 p.m. And still, there are plenty of people in the street. However, if you want to go out, please do keep in mind that usually any parties, clubs, bars, restaurants will be closing around maybe 1 or 2 a.m. That's quite early, especially for Amsterdam standards. I was always used to partying until like 5, 6 a.m. in the morning, but that doesn't necessarily happen in Bangalore. Also, another hipster thing, if you love beer, Bangalore is the city in India that has the most microbreweries. So, yeah, this, this city has a lot to offer. <laughs> I do believe the hipster culture is linked with the innovative spirit and startup culture that Bangalore has. To tell you more about that, let's first go to the most beautiful building in Bangalore, Vedana Suda. And what an innovative spirit we have here in Bangalore. Every <laughs> single one of my foreigner friends who has visited Bangalore and even my brother immediately noticed oh the vibrant God. startup culture. So many famous billion dollar companies have started here in Bangalore and even though people keep calling Bangalore the Silicon Valley of India 
I think by now, Bangalore has actually surpassed that term and proven itself as not the Silicon Valley of India, but the innovative mm. capital of India. For me, as an entrepreneur and somebody who has had her own company for the past five years, wow. it was nothing less than thrilling to come to Bangalore and see what all the startups are doing here. One such startup that recently launched is Senecpod Sit and Go. Senecpod is a company which is completely run and managed by Senex, the Indian word for ex-servicemen or veterans. And I honestly couldn't be more proud to be a part of this organization. During COVID times, doctors had a really hard time going back and forth between their homes and the hospitals. And Senex, so Indian veterans, actually managed that they were stress-free and safe during these challenging times. Now, Senecpod has also launched Senecpod Sit and Go, which has a three-step safety protocol. Every oh, single nice. driver of the new initiative, Senecpod Sit and Go, is trained by Indian ex-servicemen. The cars are all tracked and monitored in the Senec control room, and the drivers actually also wear gloves next nice. to a face so mask, nice. but they ah. also have these beautiful so formal nice. uniforms. Nice. And of course, there is a shield in the car to make sure everything is according to the highest hygiene mm. standards. But this is only the first step of the three step safety protocol. Because for the first time in India, there is a completely electric fleet mm. washing which mm -hmm. is available for consumers. Every single car in the Senecpod sit and go fleet is fully electric, which means that while transferring here in Bangalore, it is also safe for the environment. And then the third step of the three-step safety protocol is that you don't need an app to use this service. Yo, There's a huge nice. part of the Indian population which still doesn't have access to a smartphone or even the internet. So Senex actually wanted to make sure that even these people have safe transfers. Now you might be wondering, how does this work and how can I spot them? Huh? Well, these cute little bonbons, as I like to call them, are available all over Bangalore. And when you see the pot light on top of the car, green, it is available for you to just step into the car. Upon the parking, the driver will turn the pot from green to blue, which means that it's occupied. So even if you see this little bonbon passing by and the pod light is blue, then it is not available. But if it is green, you can always just walk mm -hmm. in. There is a smart meter yeah. which is yeah. tracking your rights yeah. and your expenses. Senex obviously wants you to pay a fair rate, so it is all according to market standard. Nice. And then you will be delivered to your destination in a completely electric car without huh. an app. Honestly, Me I am too. so honored. <laughs> and really is occupied to be part of such available. an amazing initiative, which today starts in Bangalore, but hopefully will soon be expanding to other Indian cities and who knows, maybe even international. <laughs> but don't get confused. Below the surface of all this hipster and startup culture, Bengaluru has an incredibly rich history and culture in which the native Bangaloreans take great pride. It's easy to miss this being blinded by all the modern comforts and entertainment that Bengaluru has to offer. However, beyond the modern malls, hipster restaurants and tech parks, it's the cute local markets and of course the local eateries where you can find the true riches of Bengaluru. Therefore, I asked my friend Shruti, who is a true Kanadiga, to help us get a better understanding of this side of Bangalore. First of all, Namaskar to everybody watching this video. Mm -hmm. I am Shruti, I am based out of Bangalore. I am a travel and a lifestyle content creator. So, welcome to the south of Bangalore. And right now, we are in the main road of Gandhi Bazaar. And when you hear this, I am sure what's running in your mind. Yes, of course, we are here for breakfast at the very, very popular Vidyarthi Bhavan. It is almost a heritage site, I can say. It's almost 80 years old and it's in 1943. So I'll tell you a lot more about this place once we get inside. So I hope you're excited to see the food <laughs> as excited as we are to eat. Yes. <laughs> yes. So all these uh, pictures that you see on the wall right here are either celebrities, politicians or famous poets who come here and you know had breakfast or basically they had the food here and it's all been hand sketched, they've all been come here just to show the legacy of the Christian Dani. Vidyarthi Bhavan is very loved and frequented by locals. Some Bangalore families have been coming here for decades for their delicious weekend breakfast. The waiters also have next level skills and carry more plates than I've ever seen anybody carry in my life. I'm excited to try it. 
Yes, yes, extremely love it. So what is this? So uh, this is Udinwadi uh, with sambar. That is Murat dal. Uh, butter, sambar, and this is creamy uh, hot idli with sambar. That looks amazing. Uh, so if you don't want dip, you can ask him to give it separately with chutney and sambar. The vada and the idli are amazing, but the true gem, according to me, is the dosa. It's a crispy on the outside and soft on the inside, mm. savory crepe, which is served with a potato masala. <laughs> Shruti told me that some people believe the recipe for this <laughs> has <laughs> never <laughs> changed <laughs> in all this time. One of the reasons why this place is so popular is because people believe that the taste has changed since The local language Kannada is something that's very dear to native Bangaloreans. I asked Shruti why this is. I think the emotional attachment that people have towards Kannada here is uh, people are very proud of their language and people are very proud of you know all the traditions and cultures that we have there and one of the reasons why you know we are uh, kind of stress on our language and the importance of our language is only because we want to preserve it this is pretty much the same with every state of india and that's a very beautiful thing like we all respect our boundaries but at the same time if you belong to a one particular state they are very proud of their language and they want it to be preserved as long as they can. So one of the reasons why they teach their kids and their grandkids about the language and tradition is only because they want it to be alive as long as it can. That's the beauty of India, I think. Like we are very diverse, we are very welcoming, but at the same time we make sure that our traditions and culture is not compromised. And um, we do share it with people who come in and uh, very proudly we uh, you know talk about our language and our traditions. Shruti, thank you so 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 much for showing us a little bit of Bangalore heritage today. My pleasure. Um, I hope you liked it. I loved it. Thank you so much. And this is actually how I also feel people kind of underestimate Bangalore because they see it as this big industrial city but at the same time there are so many layers of cultural heritage if you are willing to look for them. <laughs> Bangaloreans, in particular, are very welcoming to outsiders. People very often ask me why I specifically chose Bangalore to settle first in India. And for that explanation, I'm taking you to another lovely spot called Church Street. This is the first place I visited when I came to Bangalore for the first time. So it's only fitting that I let you in on the secret what makes Bangalore really special in this place. What actually really captured my heart about Bangalore is the eclectic mix of people. Obviously, we have the original people who are born and bred in Bangalore, the true Karnadigas, who are so welcoming from people not just all over India, but actually also internationally. In contrast to other large cities, a lot of people come to Bangalore by themselves for work which makes the city a lot more accessible. It was so much easier for me to make friends here. There are all kinds of events organized, focused on people meeting new people, and still every day I am meeting new friends in Bangalore. Does all this praise mean that Bangalore is without flaws? Of course not. Let me explain to you some of the challenges of living here while we're off to one of my favorite spots in the city. The biggest challenge I have faced here in Bangalore is the traffic. The traffic in Bangalore is actually so bad that it is officially the worst in the world. So I'm not just randomly saying anything. The ways that I have discovered to deal with this is obviously not to go out during peak hours, <laughs> which are somewhere around like 8 a.m. in the morning until 11 a.m. and in the evening it usually starts from 6 p.m. up to I would say 8 p.m. so if you're traveling outside of those hours I think you should be okay also there are certain areas in Bangalore which are more prone to traffic the Domnur flyover from Koramangala to Indranagar around 6 p.m. That, that's gonna take you a lot of time <laughs> if you get through that you have experienced the worst traffic in the world. But like I mentioned, if you just travel outside of those hours, you should be perfectly fine. Then the final thing, um, which I didn't necessarily find challenging, but which I adjusted to is that certain parts of Bangalore can be super modern. So you will definitely see girls wearing cleavage, wearing short dresses, wearing skirts and everything. Usually this is in the modern malls, but then there are also very traditional conservative areas. And over there, you really have to dress for the occasion. So I personally would always err on the more conservative side. So even today, for instance, I am just wearing pants and a t-shirt, 
because if I end up being in a conservative place, um, yeah, I don't feel uncomfortable. You can wear it, you can wear shirts, and skirts and dresses, but a lot of people yeah. will stare and I just feel it's not really appropriate. So that is definitely something to think about, especially if you're a girl. I would tend to recommend you just adjust and dress for the occasion. Thank you so much for seeing me on this part it's yeah, down to the absolute best part of the living in Bangalore. Welcome to Kabul Park. Welcome to Kabul Park. And then we have the best part of Bangalore, which is the weather. Before I came to Bangalore, I think 99% of the people who had lived in Bangalore or were born and raised here told me the weather is one of the best in the world. Having lived here for three years, I can fully, fully support that because due to its location, Bangalore has a very, very stable climate, meaning that the weather rarely goes below 24 degrees and rarely goes up more than 35 degrees, which makes living here so incredibly pleasant. My quality of life has improved so much by being able to spend so much time outdoors only during the monsoon season will it rain quite a lot of days, one after the other. But that only lasts, let's say, two or three months. So it's not that big of an issue. And actually, when it becomes a little bit hotter in May, June, mm. the monsoon season is actually very cozy after that. Really, the weather in Bangalore is something else, and it makes life such a huge pleasure here oh, <laughs> if you have nice. been to bangalore or maybe if you have lived in bangalore yourself let me know down in the comments below what you love most about the city and why you would recommend other people to visit this beautiful city if you enjoyed the video make sure to put a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos in the future thank you so much for watching in this video yes बहुत ज़्यादा ही फ़ायदेमंद है best part ये बहुत लगा कि वहाँ पर जब लोगों के बारे में भी इसे पता है काफी friendly लोग हैं यहाँ पर कि अब मेरे यहाँ पर बहुत सारे दोस्त बन गए तो definitely ये चीज़ बहुत एक आप मतलब जानते नहीं हो और आपको ना मतलब foreign से friendly होना ही बहुत मतलब आजकल लोग इतना ऐसे नहीं है ना फिर road موسیقی उन लोगों की जो कल्चर है, उनका साड़ी स्टाइल, जो भी वो लोग करते हैं, उनका जो जिसको मानते वगैरह, जो भी है, मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है उनका कि यार ये देखना होता है कि वहाँ पर सही का पूरा होती है, वहाँ फेस्टिवल पूरा धूमधाम से मजा मनाया जाता है। हर कंट्री का जो है ना अपना एक ट्रेडिशन होता है उन लोगों ने उसको अपना एक बरकरार रखा है एंड दे आर वेरी प्राउड ऑफ देयर लैंग्वेज तो इसको है कि वो लोग अपना साइड पे नहीं कहते इसको भी साथ साथ में लेकर चलते हैं और जो इन्होंने अपना फूड का बताया तो इंडिया का भी जो खाना होता है वो बहुत ज़्यादा जो है ना yes. अपने ट्रेडिशनल लेवल पे बहुत अच्छा होता है लाइक like जो दिखाई दी मसाला डोसा और hmm. इडली जो भी था वो बहुत अच्छा होता है ए, अगर मैं ये बोलूँ ना कि वहाँ की चीज़ अगर यहाँ बनेगी तो वो वैसा टेस्ट आपको नहीं रिकॉल हो रहा होगा yes. आप बोलोगे कि नहीं यार खाना है तो वहीं का खाना है यहाँ नहीं मजा आएगी सेम ऐसे अगर हम बोलेंगे कि पाकिस्तान का खाना अगर वहाँ पर मिल जाए तो वो बात नहीं होगी लेकिन बन जरूर जाएगा वो तो वो चीज़ मैंने भी एक्सपीरियंस की हुई है ये यहाँ पर और इंडिया में भी तो दोनों चीज़ों में बहुत ज़्यादा डिफरेंस होता है और दूसरा ये कि हमने भी इंडिया विजिट किया है राइट हाँ इंडिया में हमने बहुत सारी जगहों पर गए हुए थे ठीक है जैसे हमारे जो मामू थे उन्होंने कहा था कि हम बेंगलोर भी चलते हैं बट हमने वहाँ पे मना कर दिया था एज़ो हमारे पास में शॉर्ट टाइम ऑफ पीरियड था लेकिन जो वहाँ के दूसरी एरिया से मुझे नाम अभी याद नहीं आ रहा तो वहाँ पे भी जो ना लैंग्वेज जो थी वो जैसे कोकनी या समथिंग एक वर्ड होता है वो लैंग्वेज वहाँ पर यूज़ होती है 
तो वहाँ पे भी ना डिफरेंट डिफरेंट तरीके के ट्रेडिशंस थे तो वो एक बड़ी अच्छी चीज़ होती है और हमें भी बहुत अच्छा लग रहा था बाकी जो इंडिया के जो लोग होते हैं बहुत ज़्यादा वेलकमिंग होते हैं हॉस्पिटैलिटी बहुत ज़्यादा अच्छी होती है वहाँ की और जो इन्होंने बताया बहुत ज़्यादा इंटरेस्टिंग था डिटेल था पूरा सारी एक एक इन्फॉर्मेशन उन्होंने इसके अंदर बता दी है हाँ जो न्यू टूरिज्म होंगे ना उनके लिए बहुत ही इजी हो जाएगा उनको ये जानने के लिए वीडियो तभी बहुत अच्छी लगी इससे वेदर के बारे में बात की ट्रैफिक के बारे में किस चीज़ से फेस करना पड़ेगा मतलब उससे एक एक चीज से सबके बारे में उससे एक बता मतलब पूरी वीडियो कि हाँ यहाँ पर कौन सी कंपनी बहुत फेमस है यहाँ क्या होता है क्या नहीं होता है कपड़े वगैरह सब अच्छा नहीं वो बॉन्ड बॉन्ड समथिंग था वो अपना बता रही बट जो नाम था वो डिफरेंट था थोड़ा सा मगर वो भी बहुत उसकी अच्छा यानी लाइक बताया इसमें ऐप की यानी नीड ही नहीं है आपको आप सिर्फ फॉरेन हिंट हो जाएगा कि कब वो अवेलेबल है और कब यानी नहीं वेरी कन्वीनियंट फॉर दोस्त पीपल जो है ना आप अगर इंटरनेट जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल यूज़ नहीं करना तो वो बड़े बड़े लोग होते हैं उनको अगर स्मार्टफोन्स नहीं आते यूज़ करना और उनको नहीं पता पड़ा कि ऐप में क्या फीचर है कहाँ कब क्या क्लिक करना है तो इट्स वेरी ईजी फॉर देम टू ना लाइक उनको वो पहचान पहचान सके विद अ कलर ऑफ सिम्बल जो उनको ऊपर ध्यान होता कार के ग्रीन एंड ब्लू के लिए एग्जैक्टली तो वो एक बड़ा काफ़ी जो है ना इसमें इंटरेस्टिंग सा सीन था और जो एक बेंगलोर है काफ़ी ज़्यादा बिजी सिटी भी है बहुत रशी एरिया है क्योंकि वो वर्किंग प्लेस है बिल्कुल पूरी हर लोग अपने बस काम में हो रहे होते हैं जैसे दिल्ली है ना उस तरीके से यहाँ पर भी जो है ना वो थोड़ा सा रशी रशी होता है तो वी होप आपको हमारा ये रिएक्शन पसंद आया होगा काफ़ी ज़्यादा इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियो थी हमें भी बहुत ज़्यादा इसमें जानना हो गया जो एग्जैक्टली जो कभी अगर ट्रेवल वहाँ नहीं भी कर पाते हैं तो हम अगर इस तरीके के इन्फॉर्मेटिव ब्लॉग्स भी देख लें तो वो हमें बहुत अच्छा लगता है हमारे नॉलेज में भी जो ना इंक्रीमेंट होता है अगर हमें भी इन आगे हम जाना पड़ेगा तो डेफिनेटली हम ऐसी जगहों पर जाएंगे जहाँ पर इसने बताया वहाँ हम घूम कर आएंगे हम भी बताएंगे हम यहाँ होकर आएंगे तो आई होप गाइज आपको हमारा रिएक्शन पसंद आया होगा डू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड Don't forget to press the bell icon. Bye, bye, bye.